after applying your policy life cycles. Now, there, if your dataset that is in the archive part, then can I rehydrate my dataset to reuse it another time? Stay with me. In this video, I'm going to explain how can I use the data after that is stored in the archive. While a blob is the archive access tier, isn't considered to be defined offline and the can't be read or modified in order to read or modify data in a archive blob. You must be first to rehydrate the blob and to an online tier. Either the hot or the cool tier, there are two options for rehydrate a blob that is stored in the archive tier. The first option is that copy an archived blob to the online tier, you can hydrate and archive it blob by copying it into a new a blob in the hot or a cool tier with the copy blob or a copy blob from the URL. Microsoft recommend this option for most scenarios. The second scenario is change a blob access tier to the online tier. You can iterate and an archivate blob to odd or a cool by changing its tier using the sets of a blob tier option. Reiterating a blob from the archive tier can take a several hours to complete Microsoft recommendation iterate large blob for optimal performance. Reiterating several small blobs concurrently may require an additional time. So, rehydration priority. When you rehydrate a blob, you can set the priority for the rehydration operation via the optional XMS rehydrate priority. Header on the set blob tier or copy blob, copy blob from the error option. Rehydration priority Options include the standard priority, the duration request will be processed in the order it was received and may take up to uh, 10 hours. High priority, the hydration request will be optimized over standard priority requests and may complete in under one hour or subject and uh, that under one gigabyte size. To check rehydration priority while the rehydration operation is underway, call the blob property to run the value of the X rehydrate priority header. The rehydration property return either standard or high. You can either use the copy blob or copy blob from URL operation to copy the blob. When you copy an archived blob to the, a new blob in an online tier, the source blob remains unmodified in the archive tier. You must copy the archived blob to the, a new blob with a different name or uh, to a different container. You cannot override the resource blob by copying the same blob copying an shifted blob to the online destination, the tier is supported within the same support account only. You cannot copy an archived blob to the destination blob that is also in the archive tier. 